Hello everybody and welcome to my very first Let's Play. My name is Phazon Flux and I am really glad to be able to start Let's Play. Hopefully you all enjoy this and in just a few seconds I'm going to explain the premise of the game. This is Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland for the Game Boy Advance. In Dreamland, dreams always flowed from the wonderful Fountain of Dreams. The Fountain of Dreams collected the hopes and dreams of all living things. It was also responsible for the sweet dreams and rest that come from deep sleep. But one day, everyone in Dreamland lost the ability to dream. King Dedede was bathing in the Fountain of Dreams. Wow. What a jerk. He had even taken the Star Rod, the source of the fountain's power. He broke it into pieces and gave it to his underlings. So now, Kirby must embark on an adventure to restore peaceful nap times to all the residents of Dreamland. So yeah, that's the idea of the game. Um, most of you have probably played a Kirby game before. Um, if not, I definitely recommend giving them a try. They're pretty simple, they're not too tough, they're a um, standard platformer, but they're a lot of fun. Kirby definitely defined my childhood as far as the games are concerned. So, I remember I played the original version of this on the NES. Wow, a long time ago when I was like or something, so I'm 20 now, that just goes to show how old this game really is. But I'm not really sure when the remake, this version for the Game Boy Advance was made. Um, I think it said on the title screen, I think it was like, uh, 2001 or something, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. So, um, yeah, the premise of a Kirby game, if you don't know, is basically Kirby can inhale enemies, swallow them to absorb their powers. So, I've shown Big Kirby already. This is Spark Kirby here. And now I'm going to show Fire Kirby. Um, since this is the first Kirby game chronologically, um, Kirby's powers aren't that fully developed. So, Kirby's not as powerful as he is in, say, some of the other Kirby games, which I'm more used to playing. So, forgive me if I'm terrible at combat. Because I'm expecting Kirby to be able to do some crazy awesome things, and in this game he just can't. So um, the goal is whenever you complete a level, you unlock more of the overworld here. And two is obviously the next door we need to go to, but this door here is a mini game, and it can help you learn, earn some one ups. Excuse me. Um, they're by no means uh, needed for completion of the game, but they're kind of fun. I'm probably not going to do all of them, but I will show this off just to, yeah, just to show it off. So how are you guys? I'm not doing so well since I just blew up. But yeah, um, this is my first Let's Play, so it might be a little rusty, so forgive me for that. But definitely going to try my best to present good quality videos for you guys. Um, I've um, enjoyed Let's Play for a long time. Chugga Conroy was my first Let's Player that I watched. So he kind of, well, watching him kind of got me really interested into it, and so from then I started watching others like Proton John, Nintendo Capri Sun, some of the more famous Let's Players out there. But, yeah, I mean, Let's Playing is fun, and uh, it's something I've really wanted to do for a while now, but haven't really had the opportunity since my computer isn't really that good. So, I bought a new computer, got some new internet, just so I could do this for you guys. Um, yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun, but don't put too much of your life into this. I spent so many hours watching Let's Plays and playing games in general. I mean, I'm not saying playing games is a bad thing. It's definitely not. I mean, if it was, I wouldn't be playing this game right now. But it's definitely a good way to take a break from things. And yeah, so I'm going to try and keep like a regular upload schedule for you guys. But I do go to college at NC State, so forgive me if I get swamped with work occasionally. I'm in nuclear engineering, so my workload can be a bit intense sometimes. And I'm also trying to learn French on top of that, so... Yeah, enough uh, complaining about my schedule, more or less. Uh, I probably should talk more about the game and what's going on. Um, you notice that I picked up the sword ability. This is probably one of the most powerful abilities in this game, and it stays that way for many Kirby games, in my opinion. I mean, there's obviously better abilities in some of the other games, 
but it kind of just depends on personal preference. Personally, I would love sword in this game, because it does so much damage, you've got decent range, I mean look at that, and plus you have an aerial attack that covers all the way around you, so it's pretty nice. So, let's see. Oh yeah, another interesting thing about sword is underwater, Kirby can normally only like shoot a water gun per se. But since he's carrying a sword, he can just slash with that in the water instead. See, I'm not really sure what else to talk about. I've just kind of been ranting so far. But um, yeah, I kind of want to hear about you guys. Like, what do you all enjoy doing? Um, besides playing video games and obviously schoolwork, I mean, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't really be here. But, uh, so yeah, other than that, I really enjoy, uh, reading. Um, not sure if many of you have heard of the Forgotten Realms books. They're kind of like a D&D, &D, uh, based fantasy action book. But, uh, they're pretty good. My favorite author is R.A. Salvatore. So, you should definitely check out his books. He's got a lot of good stuff out there. And I'm still just playing the game and talking and not really explaining the game. Um, a few minutes ago, a few minutes, ago, like a few seconds ago, I explored a room in the overworld that just had a single minion that didn't do anything. He was basically a free copy of money. If you see a room like that in the overworld, it's basically the game saying, here, take a power. And it's pretty nice that it's sword too, because as I mentioned, sword's really good. Here, Freeze Kirby is pretty nice too. He, um... It's like Spark Kirby in the sense that it does damage to enemies all the way around you, but the enemies that die to his abilities uh, get turned into ice balls, which you can kick and hit other enemies. So it's pretty nice. But I'm definitely going to try and show off some of the powers, as many as I can. This is Needle Kirby. Uh, again, he's like Spark Kirby, just damage. He does damage all the way around him. Except, I think his range is a little bit longer than Spark. Yeah, it looks like it. And here is one of my favorite things about Kirby games. The candy. Basically, it's the Starman of the Mario universe. Or, the Starman of the Kirby universe, I should say. It, um, this one makes you vulnerable for a few seconds. And in the newer games, it speeds you up, too. So, that's pretty handy. Uh, whenever you get it, definitely pick it up. It's always fun. Alright. So far, so good. I've only taken one point of damage. And... Ooh. Alright. This door here is a boss door. So... Gotta get ready for a boss. Boss number one. Disby Woods. Doesn't show his name, just says boss. And he's pretty much a joke, so, like, I could've just sat there and killed him, but I'm gonna try and show off some of the attacks, if for whatever reason, you're having trouble with this guy. He'll shoot air puffs at you, try to drop apples, and I totally do not mean to kill him just there. But yeah, he's super simple, um, this guy is a staple in just about every Kirby game. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, he's in every Kirby game as a boss of some sort. And yeah, he's always a joke kind of boss. But yeah, I think that'll just about do it for this episode. It's probably pretty short. I don't actually know how long I've been going. But yeah, we made it to World 2, Ice Cream Island. So I would love for you guys to um, just comment, maybe. Give me some feedback, tips on how you like this episode. Like I said, I'm sure it's not that good. But yeah, um, I'd love to hear you guys' comments. And yeah, this is Phase on Flux, signing out. See ya!